Hello and welcome back to Surviving Mars. Now, last episode we started constructing our two bigger domes over here. Um, in front of it we do have a lake and as we can see, construction uh, has a quite a good progress here. The first dome is finished, the second dome is almost completed with all the resources and then it's being constructed as well. These domes, however, have quite some high resource consumptions here so the power is 30 oxygen 2 and water 2 so what we need to do first of all is um, we need to get our um, oxygen and our water production up for that I will have to use another moxie um, probably probably going to use even two of them so we have our water and oxygen production main production here look at my cubes it seems like they're <laughs> expanding in size I have no idea what's going on there with those guys I'm starting to be a bit afraid of that no idea what comes out of those guys here <laughs> it's incredible right I cannot I cannot do anything with them at this point probably will have to get some black cubes out of it at some point but right now they're yeah duplicating around my area now oxygen production is up for the next stone very good the water though is a bit of a problem we do however have an underground water deposit far away so far away that my drone hubs will not reach it but my rc commander can reach it right my rc commander does have some Master drones on board achieved. so in that case five drones it has and it can oh and we take the lake and what we can see yeah water is now being poured into the lake it costs me three water um in that case we actually had that much and using that right now and as you can see the first water is now appearing here which is then oh there was a mars mars quake as well <laughs> mars quake um an earthquake more or less but that disrupted two buildings two buildings have been damaged by that but my drones should repair that then quickly also a milestone here now with the lake very good seven buildings are not working because of that now all right seems quite severe the damage and capture the ice asteroid has been successful so what we can see water is now at plus five percent so this is increasing that was our first terraforming um, project that we had on the mars um, surface and my rocket is coming back for that right but what i actually wanted to do is the water now my rc commander can act as a drone hub while it is stationary and has drones in its vicinity so once this is standing again as we can see it has um, the water deposit then in its vicinity so what we need to do is we need to start first of all we do need a bit of a storage here just in the middle it's a temporary storage and then we're going to have the power cable from this dome that is then finished going all the way up to that water deposit right because up here we're going to have another water extractor now for the water extractor to work however we do need drones in its vicinity and of course we do have to have the connection with pipes and power cables so i'm just lying this out here going then straight to the dome in that case actually it needs to be yeah it's going to be then to this place here connecting them with the other pipe there as well um, and as we can see the drones are delivering now the resources to this area and the drones of the RC commander are working on the power cable which actually oh yeah takes metal but they're taking it from the resources around it the same thing I guess will then happen with the life support pipe well the same thing will not be happening with the water extractor so there we have the resources for it another thing is we have finished the deep scan in the last episode so I can now deep scan the area in where I have my base and that's exactly what we want to do so we're starting with the, with the deep scan here close to where I already am and in that case hopefully we'll find then some deep materials that we can use later the rocket has arrived again Ariane 1 we can then probably send it off to the next project right away now resource wise we are looking fine I'm going to use these domes for quite a lot of things first of all what I'm preparing is also the Martian Institute of Science this gives us the Hawkin Institute that generates way more research points than the research labs that we had so far that is very important we're still training engineers as well quite successfully so so our production of machine parts is going up so these domes are primarily loose uh, primarily used first for the engine uh, for the the research and also for diffusion reactors so they are going to need quite a lot of people to function 
but they are producing a lot of energy and we have to use that. Colonists are departing. And as we can see here, the lake is growing. Resources we have some leaving colonists all the time because my colony is growing right now rather quickly and I don't have, most of the time, I don't have the space for all of them. Right, these domes here, they're growing so quickly. This, they're, they're just building a new apartment so that we can house a few more colonists. But the colonists. Um, quality of these domes is not that high at the moment. Another thing that I want to do is while we wait for the research is that this dome here, for example, has a very low comfort rating. It's especially missing shopping and dining. So two things that I can actually solve um, with the shopping and the dining. So the dining is, as we know, the dining, the bar that we have. So there we have the small space bar. I'm going to just have a small one because I can squeeze it in, in this park area. So that my people also have something to look forward to in the evening. And um, on the other hand, the shopping is a bit more complex because with the shopping, I also consume resources then, right? And electronics, we actually have machine parts we have. It's not looking so bad, but a grocer would probably be the best option that we have for um, shopping because the small grocer, as we can see, also satisfies the need for the shopping. And let's have the grocer then in one of these areas here, right? So that we have then everything for those people, improving the quality. This dome here actually has quite a good quality. The only thing that's missing here is dining for some reasons. We do have a diner, don't we have one? There it is, right? And it needs another um, shift member for the night though, because otherwise it will not be able to work. And the other side would be, yeah, more shopping. People want to shop. Problem is it's consuming just way too many resources at this point. This dome is actually quite fine shopping once again is missing we do have a grocer here but that hasn't any staff people at the moment so it's probably also not the best idea to always train more people and we'll probably need to import a few more right my water extractor is looking fine so as we can see the pipes have been finished the power cable has been finished we have the concrete already it's just two machine parts that are missing now they should be coming then as well. And for this one, we need one more polymer for this dome. And then we can finish that one as well. One polymer hopefully comes in. Let's have a look at our polymer factory. Not fully staffed at the moment, but getting there. Right. What I want to have here, we want to finish those domes here as well, of course, in the meantime. Now, I do need for this dome here, since we do need a few more people working around it. Um... Another complex, but let's actually have the smaller one. Not the living complex or the apartments, because the apartments have less comfort, but the living quarter. That one. Let's have two of that, and then let's get a few more people from Earth. So right now, 24, 45... Yeah, I do have space for a few more colonists, so let's get them to where we are, right? And in that case here, let's choose them ourselves again. I think we do have some geniuses available as well. There is a guru, so he is a genius, so randomly spreads other traits of this colonist to persons in the same dome with less than three traits. Pretty cool, right? Let's take him for sure. There is this scientist, Matilda Carlson, genius, generates research when at high sanity. Um, pretty cool as well. Alcoholic though she is. <laughs> it's not, not the best option though. Um, a geologist, genius, generates research when at high quality. He's though a gambler but we're not having any casino so far. And this one also generates genius uh, research when at high sanity. He's a vegan though. Vegans have a problem usually because they lose morale rather quickly, especially when they have a, a ranch close by. And other than that, let's go with some more scientists. This one is an enthusiast. That's probably one of the best traits. Uh, this one is sexy. That's really important. We need some botanists as well. Let's choose some botanists without any huge penalties, please. Another thing that we can do is to improve the quality of this dome here, because let's face it, it's pretty terrible, um, is to improve that with the researching. So we do have a nice research with the social one, I think it was. No, nope, actually it's a biotech and farms increase the comfort of all residents in the dome. Let's go with that as well, because we do have a farm in here. And this farm, of course, will then also raise the comfort of this dome, hopefully. To some extent. There are the people, they're looking quite fine actually, walking around in here. I wouldn't know why they're so low. Unprepared meal, service building was closed, the shopping. Alright, let's have three Research shifts on this complete. one. 
And the Martian Institute has been built very good. Finally something there as well. This dome here has the problem. Yeah, we definitely, definitely should stop now the training of people here. Because we need them. We need them to work the no, uh, the no specialization people. We need them to work those buildings here, right? The bars, for example. Um, we cannot have all of them being trained to specialists. That is another bad thing. Now, let's go with the dome. This one is finally in construction. Very good. And then we have the Hawkins Institute. Now, it does require quite a lot of resources. I'm going to build one for now. It's going to be boosted then by uh, our research, by the research vista. And in that case, I think we can then squeeze in, or hopefully we can squeeze in two here into one. Or I'm going to have this one here and another one then in this area. I think this is better, right? Let's have the research, the Hawkins Institute um, on that part. Another thing is, like, these domes are going to be really, you know, huge. There are lots of people living in here, so we need to, to, to provide everything that we can for these domes. First of all, we do need a passage there as well, once again. Those domes, of course, need to be connected. Sector scanned. And, yeah, unfortunately... There is no... Oh yeah, this is working out. Very good. No dome, it says, then in this area, but let's build it. Right, so we want to connect them as well. Um, another sector has been scanned with 34,000 water here in the center somewhere. There it is. There we got a new water supply, or deep water. So we can use this um, with a deep water water extractor then. Unfortunately, it's right on the drone hub. This is... It's going to prove a few a few problems later down the road. My passengers have arrived, some more specialists and no specialization people that will take over some work here. Research-wise, we are now in the ecology. That is a very interesting building, so I'm looking forward to that. It's a spire building that provides high comfort uh, quality living. So we can put this in the center and it provides a lot of housing in these domes. So I'm going to build them in both of those domes there. And your colonists arrive. Hello. All right. We can't hide the black cubes. The public. Not when the colony is being swarmed by black cubes. Without any credible explanation, the colony was soon flooded with various rumors and interpretations of the mystery. What if there are bombs, billions of tiny bombs, or transport capsules, maybe, with a mini robot inside, or deadly hard drives, or alien eggs? The team at Mission Control is against trying to spread further misinformation and propaganda, partially because it would just add to the total confusion, but mainly because it would endanger the philosophical, philosophical principle of our mission. Alright, no idea what that was about. It seems like nothing happened. And yeah, lots of colonists are departing again. It is increasing though now, the comfort. And hopefully with the next research, we have then high comfort again. This one is pretty good anyway, comfort levels. This one, yeah, average, and this one is average too, but there's almost no one living in here for now. Right, but a few more colonists. Food-wise, totally capped, no problem, above 200 right now. And with the new colonists, especially the ranch and the farmer now being used heavily, so also another thing that's been solved. The bar is working. The grocer is working, so please give me some good quality ratings here. I could even improve that further with having, yeah, a few gardens here or there, the small ones I can squeeze in here. But yeah, we do have a few problems there, the cubes especially, what the hell is going on here? Starting to get a bit nervous about them, to be honest. Um, Alright. This guy up here, the water extractor, is still missing machine parts. We don't have that many machine parts available at the moment. We need more engineers. This one, he hopefully gets the machine parts now. And as we can see, the lake is still being filled up. And is already at 86% water level now. And this now permanently gives us then a nice boost of 0.03% water into the planet. Right, as the temperature continues to grow. Now, for my domes. I'm still going to prepare a few more things because of course we want to have some happy people here as well. We do need a playground and a school. So those are the things that we will need as well and we're probably going to have that. Yeah. Where should we have the school? Yeah, we'll uh, look on the, on the lake probably. Might be the best option that we have and a little playground here as well. Right, so that's something for the children, and of course we also will need then a 
hospital or something similar in infirmary. That is what we have right now. That is something we can have. And I want to have a big diner this time, so not a, a small space bar anymore, um, but really something high quality stuff. So since my people are going to live then on this side, on this side, we're going to have the diner here in the center. Where people can do something. Casino complex is a problem because we do have some gamblers as well. Like gambling could be bad for those guys. Um, not a good idea probably to push it too hard. We're going to have a gym. I'm going to put the gym though on the other dome, right? They are connected anyway, so we can use the benefits of both of them then. Um, we have the rockets here. Oh, that is fully loaded. Let's put it back or send it back to Earth. And let's get another cargo rocket with electronics and machine parts. I really don't like importing it because it's quite expensive, but I see no other way at the moment. Resources are low. Going to cost me quite a bit. Okay, one machine part is here. One is missing. So they they are working on it. I thought they were ha, have forgotten about it. Um, very good. Buildings are being constructed. Yeah, electronics. Not that many we have. Um, what we also need, that we're probably going to have over on the other dome is some food production as well for those guys so i Sector should not rely on oh food found. on of others um 1600 rare metals have been detected right here not the best location seriously why here and another anomaly very good so we can find new anomalies as well didn't know that very important speeding up the research with that hello darkness a colonist has snapped and after regaining consciousness has plunged into the deepest depression. Desilov Gruev couldn't bear any responsibility anymore and lost the motivation to go on. The co-workers feared that their colleagues could make some irreparable damage. Yeah, let's put him to the infirmary. We're going to have outdoor farms later then as well. Right now, we still rely on these farms here, so I want to have such a farm over on that spot. This gives us some comfort ratings then as well, once we finish researching that. Another thing that we might need, so we do have the Hawkins Institute. As we can see, this will give us then quite... Oh! And we got... He committed suicide. In the infirmary, hopefully. Nope. In his home. Right. Cannot do much about that. Before I want to before I'm going to build any houses, you know, we still need a few more things. So for example, we do have the security outpost. Something that we will also need. Let's place it here. So this is where then kind of like the police of this dome. That is something new as well that we haven't had before. Um, and yeah, shopping. Shopping is a big problem. We need way more resources for shopping to take place. What is pretty cool here is that we have tiny spots in the center. These spots are for small parks. Anomaly analyzed. And with the anomaly we got some new tags. Down here number of shuttles can be increased and allows the construction of rockets on Mars. Passenger rockets carry 10 more colonists. Pretty cool. Right, there's the farm. Um, we are going to need some yeah, factories here then as well. So I'm also going to put some machine factories and especially the electronics one. We have a small electronics factory working here. Um, it's not really doing a good job though. So it's a small one, not fully staffed. We don't have any more engineers. Um, down here, we have our polymer factory, also not fully staffed. We would need so many more engineers. Actually, let's train a few more because we have the people now. Right, so we should be doing that. And I'm still thinking about factories here as well. No idea though. If that is a good idea or not. For the factories we'll need additional sources of income. Resources so we have the metal here. Concrete we have plenty of anyway. So another 
electronics for the rare metals might be a good idea. But we do need another metal extractor, that's this one. Very good resources have arrived as well. And the only thing that's missing now is the school, which needs some electronics, but they're coming. And of course, with all these buildings, energy Funding consumption missing. is going up even further. And speaking of which, we can now build also the fusion reactor. It costs me even more polymers and, and electronics once again, but gives me a nice production of energy. And let's have our first fusion reactor then. Yeah, I think in this area, right? Because it's close to both domes, so we can use the workforce of both of them. Costing me quite a bit. And it does need a power cable though, that we can connect, but we can connect that with the dome then right away. Right, the fusion react. I'm really looking forward to that. Producing a lot of energy, 200 energy is no joke. With that we can then really push our terraforming even further. And what I'm really glad to see is that the comfort has risen even more and the research is not even finished yet so the farm will then increase it furthermore so hopefully we've solved this problem here with Earthsick. We haven't received any other Earthsick colonists in the meantime anymore so that should be pretty fine. Food is still rising? Um, it seems like we have really a huge food production at the moment going on and another thing that we have to think about these domes is then that how we get transportation because that is too far away for each of them. You know, they are not connected anymore in any kind of way. So we'll need the shuttle transportation system up and running then as well. And we're just waiting now for the fusion reactor and the arcology to be being researched. Then we can build those and then finally get a few more new colonists into these domes. Stay tuned. <laughs>